Justina with You Made That, and today I am going to repurpose this bird. I chalked on one side, and I'm going to use this cute doodlebug paper on the other side. So I'm going to trace the other side of the bird on the other side of the paper and cut it out. Okay, I cut that out, and I'm just checking, make sure that's going to fit. Then I'm going to choose flower paper from the same doodle bug set. I think it's called Garden Fairies. No, Fairy Garden. And now I'm going to take some dies and I'm going to cut paper with those dies to kind of help the design of my bird. And then some little flower dies with these little um, other shapes. Okay, opening my glue. I just use Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive, which works great. I use it for card making and I'm putting glue all the way around. Look at those cute little images on this doodlebug paper. I love it. Almost hate to cover them up. Using liquid glue gives me a little bit of wiggle room so that I can make sure I'm going all up to the edges and it's pretty straight. Yep, looks good. Now gluing the paper onto the wing. I knew that I wanted to change this bird from um, February and Valentine's kind of look to a spring or Easter kind of look. And I wanted to just do a little something different and try putting some paper onto the back. Now I'm just making my flowers with my two different colors of pattern paper. Doing that off the screen because it was hard to make sure I was in focus with the camera all the time. Also, I'm standing up while I was making this and I don't usually stand and craft. I'm usually sitting, but that's what happened this time. And this glue dries real quick, and it also dries clear, which I love. Okay, now I realize that I want only part of this flower to show. So I'm just going to trace and cut that part out. I love these Fisker spring-loaded scissors because they make it real easy on my hands. And then I'm going to glue this on. Now, oh, I have to note, when I did trace the bird onto the pattern paper, I did get a little bit of charcoal from the um, pencil. Is that charcoal? I can't think of the word. Anyway, I got a little black lines around my bird, but I just erased those off, and it came off just fine. So watch that if you ever trace around with pencil. Graphite, that's what it is. Pencil has graphite. Okay, and then these little sticky squares came with the Chalk Couture birds. So I'm just using them because they work great to put the wings on. Yeah, I've mentioned before, uh, these birds were from Chalk Couture and they were 70% off in like December. And I got like five packs because I thought, I love them. I want to do all the things. So I stocked up. They still have them for sale now, but they're not 70% off anymore. But when they have sales, they have great sales. Okay, so I want some of these flowers to kind of hang off the edge, and I'm going to trim those up. So I'm not going to leave them there. Kind of looks like the bird has a little flower in her hair, which I totally could have left on there, but I'll trim it off in a bit and then just gluing these on in double time. All right, now I'm just snipping away what's hanging off the edge. That seemed to work pretty well. I'm just making this up as I go when I was crafting this and it worked out. Yeah. Ta-da! This one's all done. 
Now I'm going to do the little guy. So I pick this pattern paper and I trace the other side onto the back and I'll cut this out. Then I got this little um, firefly paper and I'm going to use that for the wings. And since this paper is more ornate and flowery than the other one with the suns, uh, I don't add any flowers to this. It looked busy. <laughs> and springy enough so I really didn't die cut any flowers or anything like I did for the big guy. Pretty forgiving method. I didn't have to cut perfectly or anything. I mean it's for my tear tray and yeah I love when perfection isn't a big deal and you can just kind of make something quick and easy and fun and and then be done with it. Here's the hardest part of the whole thing was peeling this release paper off of the back side of this little wing. <laughs> I could not. <laughs> I tried a different corner. There we go. What a relief. Okay. So then I tried to put it opposite of the other wing. And it just sticks great. Ta-da! There they are, and they stand up and everything. Here they are on my tear tray. They're all ready for spring and summer. Thank you, everyone, for watching.